Welcome to God's Food for Thought. This week we're talking about Jesus, the Christ of Christmas. You know, for many years, the Jews were promised a Messiah, a Savior. And God's plan included Jesus coming actually two times. They call it two advents of the Lord. He would come the first time as a Savior to save mankind from their sins. Jesus would come the second time to rule and reign on the earth. In fact, there would eventually be a brand new heaven and earth. And the Jews understood only the second coming of the Lord, coming to rule and reign, to set them free from the Roman government and the different people that oppressed them. They didn't understand, even though it was in their scriptures, about the suffering servant, Jesus coming to die for our sins. You might say they could not see the forest for a tree. The tree that blocked their view was actually the cross of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was born, very important how he was born. And uh, we're gonna look at that today, how God fulfilled prophecy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before, showing his first advent, how he would come and how Jesus fulfilled it. First place we go to is about 1500 years before Christ. In the book of Numbers chapter 24, we're gonna look at verse 17. It says, I see him. Notice that the translators capitalize him representing the Lord but not now I behold him but not near a star shall come out of Jacob now Jacob of course and Israel are the same people it's where they referred to Jacob that was his first name then he got named Israel a star shall come out of Jacob a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Now, a scepter is a sign of kingship. Jesus is both the lion of the tribe of Judah and the lamb of God. He is both at the same time, but would appear in time in two different time periods. He came first as the lamb. Let's look at Matthew chapter two, verses one and two in the light of just reading what we read out of the book of Numbers. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. So referring all the way back to the book of Numbers about a star shall come out of Jacob, shall come out of Israel. And they said, we will worship him. That would only be right if he were God. God says not to worship idols or worship anything except God and him only. Another sign that Jesus is not only the Son of Man, but the Son of God. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, about 700 BC. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. It's going to be a sign of a miraculous birth. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. That means God with us. Now, the word virgin means a maiden. If Mary had been pregnant before by man, she would not have been called a maiden or a virgin. She would have been called something much worse. Instead, she was a virgin. If we look at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 30 through 35, look what it says here. And the angel said to her, to Mary, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb 
and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and he will be called son of the highest. When you talk about the highest, you're talking about El Elyon, the most high God. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He had to be in David's lineage. Mary had to be from the house of David. In other words, from the tribe of David, of Judah. Not any of the other tribes would have worked. Had to be the one tribe out of 12. He will reign over the house of Jacob, that's Israel, forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. That only can refer to God. And we skip down to 35. It says, And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. You see, only God could do this miracle. If God can create the entire universe out of nothing, I think he could make this happen. He said, therefore, also that Holy One who is born will be called the Son of God. Holy One. Why was he holy? Adam was not his father. We all inherited our sin nature from all the way back from Adam. From Adam, all became cursed. Through Adam, all had that sin nature. Jesus did not have Adam in his lineage. Mary was, but Mary simply was the one who, who brought forth the Son, conceived by the Holy Spirit. So here he is, Jesus, the first one since Adam, the original Adam, born, it came forth without any sin. You see, he had to be perfect in order to offer his life for us. He will be called the Son of God. Revelation 1.8 says, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. He is the great I Am. He's always now in time. In the, in the creation where things are moving and therefore we have time because of motion. We have time. And then within that motion, he's also who was and is to come. But he is the I am. It said it begins with who is. God gave his name. I am. That's my name. He is existence. The fullness of Jesus' mission to save us was totally dependent on his virgin birth. He could not have been born in sin like the rest of us. No one, no person born could save mankind. Beyond all our celebrations, Santa Claus and ex extensive gift buying, the virgin birth of Jesus has the greatest meaning of all. It's a meaning of eternity. Being joined with him. Of all those that were born. Remember, Adam wasn't born. He was created by God. As the body that Jesus dwelt in was created by God. God. That's why he's called last Adam or second Adam. He became a very special child. One and the only one born without sin who could offer up his life for us to complete justice of a just God while extending mercy to us. We're going to sing right now that, that old Christmas hymn, What Child Is This? And I pray that it blesses you. We'll see you tomorrow. We have a lot more to share about the Christ of Christmas. What child is this who played?
to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping.